Hello. So one of the first things that other people realize when they walk into our camper is that there's no longer the same layout that was once in the 26 foot bunkhouse. The reason is because we felt with the no slides that we were too cramped having the style table and the style benches that were in the camper. I'm gonna flip you over here and you'll see that I'm of average size, my husband is of average size, um, we have standard BMIs, and it was even difficult for us to maneuver around the 26 foot bunkhouse without some of the changes that we've made to the camper. Now we have plenty of room with these changes and they did not take long at all. So I'm gonna flip you over, here's the door. This is where the table used to be. So I'm gonna show you here on the floor. Right here is a screw hole. That's for my children. Like I said, I don't clean up when I tape. You get who we are. The other bench used to come out right along here and had a back on it. This would now have been here. That was gone. Now right under there where I'm pointing, that is the tire wheel well. And then this was here, but it had the back on it going across. And then the table, I'm standing where I would have been able to go when it was in its original form. Now, I'm 5'4". I have to really bend to get across here to get to my upper cabinets, which is where I have our food storage, our games, it's all up here. I was having a really difficult time without literally standing on the benches that were here to get up into my upper storage cabinet, which is where I keep all of our food. Not to mention, our boys had nowhere to play. So if it was rainy or yucky outside, all of this space was totally taken up by a nice big table and two pretty nice sized benches with backs. So instead, my husband was able to remove, um, every brand is different, every year is different. He was able to take ours out fairly easily with some screws. They come over here. So you can just see how much more this has opened up without the regular standard table in it. One of the things that he did have to remove, I believe this is a carbon monoxide detector. This was on the back of one of the benches. He was able just to take it and then put it in this new little bench that he made. I did reuse the cushions. Under here I kind of have what I call our junk bins now. Those are sunglasses. This is from Amazon. They're not actual wicker. They're more like a plastic, so they really hold up. Um, I have our first aid kit in that one. My George Foreman is now under there. So this is a really nice space. If we do need to eat inside, I have a small folding table, very petite, that I'm able to get out and put across here. And then I do have two almost hassocks that I keep for our boys' clothing storage that we're able to put out to give us the other two seats kind of right here and then put them away. So it all stows and goes. This has been one of the best things we've done because we don't have the slide out. We now have all of this space. And it may not look like a lot of space to you, but you're no longer funneled the way you were with the bench seat. And you can imagine how far out that came and how far over and what little bit of walking you did have. So that's one of our favorite changes was totally getting rid of the factory direct seating and kind of doing our own thing that suited our family and when we're not eating outside if the weather's bad you can make it work if we're not in here that long it will work